You know, the lunacy in these end times is breathtaking. Here you're looking at a woman who says she's been to heaven, well, more times than you and I can imagine, almost daily. Uh, you can see her, uh, her spirit force symbol patch in her decorative camo. And here it says, Commander Cat. It's just too much. Here, uh, let me see if I can play this here. We are kings and priests unto our God. Those are spiritual levels of authority. There you go. How, how long we did? You see how she gets the audience to repeat, uh, although, you know, it might sound good as an encouragement. But when it's coming from her, who is a confirmed false prophet, really all she's doing is, I guess I would say, she's getting the audience to be obedient by repeating things to make sure they're on board and issuing commands for validation that they still follow her and these other false prophets know that for a very long time and I don't want to take forever to get this off but I'll figure it out <laughs> just pull it off from here see I have to have people do things for me because oh. I mean there's tombstone and Johnny slick in the background there because what what cats doing here is she's she's giving them gold stars as it were taking pins off her scarf much, you know, like an eight-year-old, when I get back, I forget what to do. Let me play that again. I forget what to do. I'm in heaven so much, you know, like an eight-year-old, when I get back, I forget what to do. She says, I'm in heaven so much that like an eight-year-old, when I get back, I forget what to do. This is all theater right here. And she, they're just absolutely insane. I'm just kind of doing this on the fly here. Get one of the doubles. You still get double. You both get double. She she has a patch on her shoulders that says Spirit Force. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is really close to the Star Trek uh, symbol. My goodness, what utter delusion. And I don't want to put it on yours. So what if I put it on your little thing right here? I don't want to put a hole in your clothes. You know, okay. uh, prophet, your clothing is very important. Thank you. Uh, because God's putting on a show. That's what he's doing. And no she says, you're, as a prophet, your clothing is very important because God's putting on a show. Unbelievable. Well, they're putting on a show, but it is certainly not God. Let me just say this. There you go. There's, there's yours. Yeah, a... So, woo! Spirit Force, da, 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 da. Spirit Force. It's just theater, isn't it? This is, I'm, I'm trying to be careful with my words. These people are mentally challenged and void of God. For a person to dress like this, this, this is the type of a costume that a five-year-old child would wear on trick or treat. God forbid any of you should let your children go trick-or-treating, but this is like a costume they'd sell or something you'd see on G.I. Joe, for those of you old enough to remember that. It's crazy. And here you've got, I, I think Kat is either approaching her 80s or she may be over 80. I'm not sure. And I, I can say this. If we stand together, we are very different. Is that true? Look how we're dressed, right? Because God picks show people. Prophets have to be show people. Prophets have to be show people. Is that true? Or biblically, do prophets have to be faithful to God? Do prophets have to be obedient to the word of God? But again, they always tell you their true intentions mixed in with their lies. Here, here you've got the Halloween trick-or-treater, you got Tombstone here and Johnny Slick. Uh, they certainly are different, but it 
would more so to go that that just means as professing Christians profess to love God, they are doing nothing more than heaping unto themselves teachers, having itching ears. There is a variety, isn't there? This lady says that God instructs her to dye her hair pink to show people that she's different. Not that, you know, for example, the, the word of God you think would be enough to move in the hearts of the lost. No, no, no. So somebody in, in, her, in her, I guess, her theory, people wouldn't ordinarily settle for just the word of God, but they look at Kat and they see, well, she's got pink hair. That's so different. I guess because of that, I'll listen to what she has to say. That's what she wants to sell you. You're going to put on a show every time you open your mouth. Is that right? You're going to put on a show every time you open your mouth. Well, this is true. They are putting on a show, but that's all they're doing. They're not preaching the truth of the gospel. They're just putting on a show and the people love it. They all sit out there and clap and they think it's funny because their favorite rock stars are up on stage right now. With Tombstone, it, it's it's literal. He, he is a rock star. See, here we are, pink hair. We got the rocker here and we got this styling right over here. And they, and they all just laugh. They think this is funny while they sit up on stage. They should be preaching the gospel. They should be preaching the death, burial, and resurrection of our perfect Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But they think it's funny because they put on a show and they all look so different. It's just, again, breathtaking. <laughs> so we, we are not going to be able to hide anymore. The hiding in the mountains is over, people. Uh this is actually true. Because as more and more people slip into delusion, they welcome these crackpots and put them on stage. They adore them. They clap for them. They send them gifts. They empty their pockets in the donation plates. They don't have to hide anymore. These are the end times. And this was prophesied by Jesus Christ. Look what it says in Second Peter chapter 2. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covetousness shall they with what? Fiend words make what? merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. In the book of Titus chapter 1, uh, this talks about the qualifications of being a bishop. For being a, I'm sorry, for a bishop must be blameless. Now, the Greek word for bishop is episkopos. Episkopos, I hope I'm saying that right. But it really means an overseer, um, a man charged with the duty of seeing that things be done by others are done rightly, a guardian. So if you come down to verse 10, it says, For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouth, I'm sorry, whose mouths must be stopped who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not. Why do they do it? For filthy lucre's sake. So when you see the rock stars up on stage who are, by their own confession, more concerned with putting on a good show rather than teaching the true gospel of Jesus Christ, remember that they are subverting. They're subverting households. They're subverting untold millions of people with their false prophecies. Well, they hand out stars. They give gold stars to one another. And they tell you, we don't need to hide anymore. 
you've accepted our wackiness. You've accepted our deceit and our clown costumes and uh, delusion is in full blown operation here. Thanks for, uh, for throwing away the true gospel of Jesus Christ and accepting the freaks at the end here. And uh, also thanks for not holding us accountable when our prophecies fall flat to the floor, which by the way, is the majority. So I'll leave it like this just because it's, yes, it's that silly. If you ever find yourself being prophesied over by a 77 year old woman with pink hair, wearing fake military fashion fatigues, who calls herself Commander Cat of the Spirit Force, while donning the Star Trek logo, you're either officially in delusion or you may have just been checked into your local mental institution. <laughs>